Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading is a pick a card in regards to the rest of 2022, advice and predictions for the remainder of 2022. So once we hit July, y'all, uh, we're going to be six months into this year. Okay. And then we're going to have six months remaining. So I feel like this reading will kind of give us a chance to weed things out, see maybe what can potentially lie ahead for the next six months and be able to acquiesce how we need to. Okay. So let's hop into your reading. We have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Pile number one, we have, I am open to, to love in various forms. So I am open to love in various forms. Pile number two, we have I offer words of good intent. Pile number three, we have I spread joy. And pile number four, we have I invoke laughter. So pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your readings. Bye. Hey, pile number ones. Welcome back to your reading. You all chose this really lovely, I'm open to love in various form cards, okay? Um, so in regards to what's happening for you for the rest of 2022, I have the feeling you are unblocking that heart chakra, right? You are being more open and receptive to, yes, love in various forms, as this card would suggest, but you are really contemplative or you could be really contemplative about maybe what you want out of a romantic connection right now, or just love in general. You could be very meditative about love and what it means to you moving forward. Maybe your definition of love or what love is has changed in the recent past um, because of evolvement, right? Because of a, a certain aspect of, of light. <laughs> I want to say alignment and enlightenment at the same time. But yeah, uh, because of the maybe the transformative amounts of alignment you've been having and enlightenment, okay? But um, I feel like love has been on the brain lately, pile number ones, and you are really just in this contemplative state of like, what type of love moving forward would you like to manifest in your life, okay? So I digress. Let's move forward. We have, that's so funny, the lovers peeking out here. But we have at the bottom of the deck, the five of cups, okay? I'm getting, this is like what you're feeling right now, you know? You could be a little sad, you could be a little disappointed, or even just feeling numb. I'm getting numbness out of this card too. Feeling a little numb, knowing that, you know, your life is a lot different than how it used to be. I feel like you feel okay with that. Like you're not super super sad, but it's this gnawing feeling within you, pile number ones, that maybe you're just, you are definitely being more reflective and meditative at this point where it's like, well, what is it that I want? You know what I'm saying? And what is it that I require out of people now that I feel like I've completely changed? Like I'm almost like a totally different person on the inside, right? I have a feeling you could have a smaller friendship circle as well, or you could find yourself a little isolated or feeling alone at this point, but you're never alone, right? I feel like that's what that two of cups suggests. You're never alone. If you just kind of like flip your perception on the matter, you'll understand that. And there's people right behind you and in your corner and sometimes that's hard to see when we're in the thick of maybe losing people left and right in regards to maybe we just like no longer feel resonance with these people anymore. So they just kind of fall to the wayside or something like that. But what I'm getting is that 
everything's happening for a reason and everything's happening in accordance to a plan. And that's where I get with this uh, bridge here. I always reference Neville Goddard, the bridge of incidents as it pertains to the five of cups. And I'm getting like, you're, you're creating a new world and a new system and a new life for yourself. And uh, that could require shedding the old people who no longer, who you no longer resonate with circumstances, things you no longer resonate with emotionally and making way for new. Okay. So let's hop into your reading pile. Number ones, we have the sun temperance. We have the five of wands. We have uh, the Empress card, three of cups, knight of wands. We have the nine of wands, four of cups, six of cups, and the queen of wands. So starting in the center of your reading with the five of wands and the uh, four of cups, I have a feeling you've been very conflicted about which offers are almost like worthy enough for you. Like not to say that in a pretentious way or a, um, you're better than anyone way. No, no, no. You've cultivated a sense of self-esteem and you're really just genuinely wondering, uh, praying uh, for clarity in regards to what offers are going to be the most nourishing, reciprocal, and uh, almost like I'm getting non-combative, right? That's going to be uh, symbiotic and that's going to be synergistic for you moving uh, forward in life, right? You don't want chaos and conflict, right? You want friends. You want uh, this um, huge support system, maybe not even huge, quality over quantity is what I'm getting. But uh, I again, I feel like you are very contemplative right now, very strategic in your approach about um, whose offers of, of love, of companionship, of friendship that you take from here on out. And I feel like you you being in this state for the remainder of 2022 and you actually finding some type of resolve for it, okay? So going back to the beginning of your reading with the sun and the knight of wands, I have a feeling, um, you know, you maybe just came off of a big high, right? That's what I'm getting. You came off of a big high, energetic speaking, right? Uh, there could also be a Leo in and around your environment pile number ones. Uh, maybe they're kind of like, they're just this passionate person. They could be like, um, you know, kind of like ages between 25 and 35. They don't have to be, but that's just kind of the description of the Knight of Wands. Um, but just kind of raring to go. And what I'm feeling is that from that high you were coming off of, you felt very energetic, but maybe pulled into two different areas, you know, kind of wishy-washy about what it is that, what, what's the next step in your life. Okay. But I have a feeling there was a moment of clarity here with the sun. And like I suggested, you could have been dealing with like a uh, kind of like a, um, a relatively young Leo person as well. And that might have offered you some clarity or like joy or sustenance at the time. OK. I have a feeling even like just being like it says, I'm open to love in various forms, you being open, a lot more open to going with the flow is also what I'm getting. You know, I feel like maybe in, in the recent past or maybe in the past, you were like, it's either my way or the highway. And you're just kind of like, uh, I'm kind of just open to having fun right now, open to being like just free and silly. I feel like you could have been going through that. Okay. With the temperance and the nine of wands. It's so interesting, right? Because I'm getting Leo for sure right here. And then I'm getting Sagittarius energy for sure right here with the temperance and um, the nine of wands here. Heavy emphasis on Sagittarius in this um, row right here. But what I'm also heavy emphasis on healing. Okay. So for the remainder of 2022, you could be like regaining your strength, doing everything in moderation, healing yourself from the inside out, knowing that, you know, certain things, maybe you have lost the, uh, battle, so to speak, but you haven't lost the war and also preparing yourself to, uh, 
like stand guard, like to really be this warrior, right? We have with the Nine of Wands wounded warrior energy, but like God, Spirit, Source energy is coming in and is like um, replenishing you. you. You're alchemizing something, okay? Your angels, ancestors, and guides are right with you right now, pile number ones, by mean of like offering like rest when you need it, rejuvenation, okay? You could have taken a pause here for yourself just to, like I said, recoup, recoup your strength and your energy, okay? Recoup your inner resilience with this row right here. With the Empress and the Six of Cups, there could be someone from the past um, bringing you in something that you know you deserve, okay? Or someone from the past really seeing how much you've grown and how much you have uh, come into yourself um, with this Empress card, right? How how worthy you have how worth I want to say how worthy you have become, but you've always been worthy. But you seeing it for the first time, and in regards to you seeing it for the first time, they're feeling it like this person is the one. This person isn't going to settle for less. This person is going to keep, um, you know, receiving all the beauty that the world has to offer, and with these people either a singular person or these people from the past seeing that, um, I feel like they are acquiescing as well to that energy that you're exhibiting here with the Empress. We also have one, two, three. We have three major arcanas here. Okay. So I feel like for the remainder of 2022, you're going to be this Empress energy. You're going to be sitting on your throne uh, in reception mode into the gifts that either your higher self or other people from the past want to give to you because they see how well you've cultiv cultivated your surroundings, pile number ones, okay? With the Three of Cups here and the Queen of Wands, you're getting down to business and you're celebrating yourself. I feel like you're celebrating yourself and you're celebrating with friends and family and, and colleagues and, and associates and loved ones who really love you, okay? Who really love you, respect you, respect what you're doing, okay? You could be celebrating with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in the near future or towards the end of the year as well. But I feel like because you have really um, stood up for yourself energetically speaking, pile number ones, in regards to what you will and will not tolerate, you know your worth, okay? Um, you know how valuable you are. And I feel like you are in this receptive feminine energy right now. And it's a gift, like allow yourself to be in it because it's a gift uh, given to you right now. Tell us more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for Apollo number ones. What's happening for them for the rest of 2022, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Look at this. So we have Love Begins. Card number six with the third eye chakra is here as well. So there could be a new love offer. Are you, you are really pouring into yourself right now, pile number ones, like you've never done before. And I feel like your third eye, your intuition, your intuitive faculty is really telling you to do this right now and to be open to various forms of love here. There could be a new love offer coming in for you and be open to it. If it's new, or even from someone from the past, um, but it comes in a new way, okay? Look, we have card number six, memories of love. This could be someone from the past really thinking about things, really thinking things over, all right? We have deception and envy, card number seven. It, it, it was in reverse. For some reason, I'm going to take it in reverse, but here's the thing. You know what's interesting? As soon as I put this card down, I don't know if you all can tell, but this person's eyes is glaring at this Three of Cups. So I don't know if someone from the past is a little envious of you because of something that you're going to be celebrating in the near future or towards the end of this year. But you're going to be celebrating big, pile number one. And I say that because we have the Queen of Wands. You are literally going to be looking your best. 
You're going to be so on top of things, whether this be your own business, whether this be things at work, corporation, you name it. You're going to be so on top of things. People are going to really be like, I got to I got to work my stuff out. I have to get on the ball because they have really, they meaning pile number ones, however this resonates with you, they have really put in the work and look at now they're celebrating. Okay. We have bottom of the deck card number 10 destiny because you're following your heart. You allowed your heart to do the brunt of the work and now you're able to celebrate it. Now you're able to be in the celebratory energy because you put your foot in it. <laughs> Pile number one, so to speak. You you did what was asked of you from God's spirit source energy, okay? Let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. For blessing pile number ones and myself with clear, concise, accurate messages for what is coming in for them for the rest of 2022. Clear, concise, accurate messages for pile number ones. What's coming in for pile number ones for the rest of 2022, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. What's coming in for pile number ones? Thank you. For the rest of 2022, thank you. Look at that. Boom. That just flew out. So we know you're going to be abundant. So this is why you're celebrating. There could have been an um, exponential growth in business or whatever you're doing. You could have got a raise at your job, something along those lines, pile number ones. And it has really helped by means of your financial life. Okay. By means of your material life. We have the, at the bottom of the deck for knowledge and certainty. Uh, give me a second. Two cards fell to the side because of how focused you are. Okay. You have your, like I was saying, you were so focused. That's what I was kind of meaning by you putting your foot in it. You really did your thing. Pile number ones. You were very focused on your objective. You succeeded in your objective. Thus you are being rewarded by the universe. Here we go with flowers fickle. This could um, have something to do with relationships. Like I'm saying, this flower fi flowers fickle card talks about uh, not passing by a really good situation. And I feel like you aren't. I think this is someone from the past trying to come back in, <coughs> excuse me, and really work things out with you. Um, I feel like because they see how focused and determined you are. And that is just a turn on how number ones it's just a turn on for anyone like even our family and friends not like in a you know sexual way or anything like that but it's just like when when you see another person really going after their dreams after their goals with tenacity it it lights a fire in you and i have a feel i have a feeling that a lot of people from the past are seeing you do your thing and you know they want to come back in and like lock it down okay male or female it doesn't matter you're the people from the past are really seeing you like doing the dang thing and they they want to be a part of it pile number ones okay i have a feeling you're going to be celebrating something huge by the end of the year okay this could be an, incre an increase of your finances due to your hard work and due diligence in your job business or whatever it is that you're doing with family friends um you know what I'm saying? This could be, you know, maybe you getting into a new relationship and really feeling so abundant in this relationship because you all are, um, you all are reciprocating each other's emotions. Okay. Let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What else is happening for them for the rest of 2022? Thank you. I have a feeling, yeah, you're you're gonna be focused for the remainder of the year for sure. Oh my goodness, pile number two, pile number ones. I promise you, this is just at the bottom of the deck. As soon as I said focus, boom. Oh my goodness, and you know what I was looking at? This. Oh my god, we have focus twice. Oh my goodness, you can't make this ish up. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're focused on your bag on your on your coin, so to speak, pile number ones. Congratulations, you're focused right now. 
you know what to do internally too. Call for backup. See that fire, that fire you're lighting under people and people are willing to help you because they see how determined you are. I have a feeling uh, people are going to come in to help you like whatever you need. Okay. People are going to be helping you. Look at this. Share your gifts because you're sharing your gifts pile number ones. You're really doing the dang thing. And then we have healthy habits. Yeah, you're cleaning up your life. If it, if you know your diet hasn't been right or your exercise routine hasn't been right, you are getting all of those into alignment right now. And I guess that's where I was coming from earlier in the reading. Because you're sharing your gifts, you're on meta, uh, a metaphoric fire. You know what I'm saying? People feel it. People are inspired by it. They're encouraged by it. And they want to help you to succeed, to continue to succeed. Okay. Um, I do want to pull some more cards. Give me a second. Let me get another deck. Okay. So I have, <laughs> my friend left a whole bunch of her decks here and she was like, yeah, use them. So I'm going to use this Life's Purpose Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. I know she's kind of like a, I don't know, but uh, her decks are pretty cool. They're good. Um, so I'm going to use this. I know she kind of like gave up tarot or denounced tarot or whatever, but these aren't tarot cards. They're Oracle cards. So we're going to use them because they're here. <laughs> And they're pretty descriptive. So let's see. Um, let me see. What else should I ask? <sighs> thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck. Um, what else does pile number one need to know about what's happening for them for the rest of 2022? How will they be sharing their gifts for the rest of 2022? How will pile number ones be sharing their gifts? for the rest of 2022, okay? They, oh, you know what? I'm gonna take those. Look at this. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. We have infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. You're getting all, you're crossing all of your T's and dotting all of your I's. Sorry, these three fell here. So I'm gonna actually use these in a minute. But you're dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's as it pertains to your life's purpose, pile number one. So good job. So let's see what came out. Look, support. Again, call for backup. <laughs> it says support. Your life purpose fully supports you. This is why I feel like you are making sure as it pertains to your life's purpose that you are really structuring this from here on out from the next six months. So, um, you know, you can be fully supported and it be almost like on automation. Okay. We have writing. It says you heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. You could be really focused on a book that you want to write right now, or you could be really, yeah, just focus on like a blog, a book, something that has to do with things in written, written forms. You could have been, you could have had an idea for a book for so long. And now the next six months, you're probably going to finish that book and try to, uh, you know, kind of, uh, what is it called? Um, huh. uh, gosh, it slipped my mind, child. It slipped my mind. <laughs> You could be shopping the book around is what I was trying to say, okay? And we have oracle cards. This is interesting. So it says, you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So you can also be maybe creating a deck of oracle cards and maybe you're just now getting in like the writing of it all, right? Maybe you're going to have someone else uh, do the illustrations and you are going to be creating like an oracle deck, a tarot deck, an angel card deck, something like that. And you're going to be the author of it. And then maybe you could be looking for someone to be the illustrator of that said deck. Okay. But whatever it is that you're doing, pile number ones, it's creating infinite abundance in your life. You're going to be taken care of for the rest of your life. And you're going to be able to take care of your family, your friends, your loved ones, your community alongside that. Okay. So yeah, that's, fantastic news. 
So let's end off your reading here with some soul journey cards. Let's see. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving pile number ones and myself clear divine guidance, wisdom, and insight. Uh, any last messages of guidance, advice, or wisdom you would like them to know before we end their reading spirit? Clear, concise, accurate advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude their reading spirit for what's coming in for them for the remainder of 2022. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this is peeking out. I'm going to take this. One more card. Clear, concise, accurate advice, guidance, and wisdom. Thank you for our pile number ones. So this card flipped out. We have honesty. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So I have a feeling like you're being very open and honest about the things you want, about the things you expect, about what you feel like you deserve, pile number ones, okay? We have humor. I love this. It says, I choose to focus on the latter side of life. This is going to bring in a lot of ease and a quick abundance into your life too. You not having a heavy heart, you being humorous, you finding the joy and the laughter, even in the struggle pile number ones. I have a feeling like it's not going to feel like work because it isn't because you make the most out of life in every moment that you have here. Okay. And then we have judgment. It says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. I feel like, uh, you know, like with that deception and envy card, people might have judged you early in the path, but now they're going to have to eat their words, so to speak, because they're seeing that you believing in yourself and you standing by yourself and what you're doing, it has succeeded for you. And that might give them the encouragement to uh, do what they came here to do and live in alignment with their life's purpose or at least one of their life's purpose, okay? So yeah, with that being said, my lovely dreamy dreamers, that's all that I have for you, my pile number ones. I love you so much. If you like this video, if it resonated with you, please give this video a big thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. I love you all so much, pile number ones, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number twos. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this lovely, I offer words of good intent card. Okay. So what's happening for you for the remainder of 2022 is I feel like you're speaking things into existence, not just in your own life, but the life of others. With this person's hair being like this sacred geometric shape of the spiral, I'm getting like you, you're also learning more about cycles in life within yourself, whether you be male or female. Uh, you're getting a lot of uh, divine downloads and synchronicities at this time, but you, you have a fundamental understanding of how life goes in cycles. And as long as you speak words of good intent, as long as you offer words of good intent, not just to yourself, but to others, uh, that's going to manifest for you as well on the external plane. You see how like these butterflies are on her are on this person's heart or this chest area and then like they're speaking words like the it's like the communication is flying right out of their mouth and uh, you know i guess it's just like transfigured into like the symbol of birds which is talks about communications good omens things of that nature okay so um you're speaking from your heart, right? Your heart space right now. And you're offering encouragement so people can feel free, liberated, and not just others, but yourself, right? So I digress. Let's move forward. We have the hermit at the bottom of the deck. I also feel like you're going inward for the remainder of 2022. You're being called to maybe be in more of a solitude state to really, um, have the questions answered from within and then, uh, whatever, answers you get from within, from that subconscious mind, right? That subconscious region, uh, they're going to be admitted outward, right? So you speaking words of good intent, not just over yourself, but of others, and you uh, answering your own questions as well is what I'm getting with this hermit card. 
You could be a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo in your life as well. You don't have to be. That's just kind of, you know, I'm just kind of giving you the hermit card does represent Virgo. So you could be dealing with, let's say Virgo tendencies, maybe organizational tendencies. Maybe you're kind of like wanting to be in this realm of solitude right now is to kind of get your things aligned, get everything that you need in order. So when you're ready to get back out into the world, so to speak, when you're ready to kind of like, um, reestablish yourself or, you know, just, yeah, just do whatever you have to do on the external. You will be provided for on the internal first. Okay. If hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Pile number twos. All right. But I digress. Let's move forward with your reading. We have the page of cups, king of swords, strength in reverse, three of pentacles, five of pentacles, ace of pentacles, king of cups in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse, Queen of Cups, and then we have the Three of Swords. So hopping into the center of your reading with the Strength card in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse, I feel like you're going inwards to really kind of recapture your voice. And I think it's interesting, pile number twos, because we have two divine counterparts here. We have the Queen of Swords and we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is upright. The Queen of Swords is in reverse. And I have a feeling there could be some suppression of the feminine aspect of communication, right? That could be the feminine aspect maybe of seeing um, both sides of the coin, maybe being a little empathetic about the things that you're seeing um, could be a little suppressed at the moment, okay? Um, maybe even the advice you want to give could also be suppressed because maybe you're overthinking or overanalyzing a certain situation and not really coming from the heart right now. With strength being uh, representing the sign of Leo in uh, the tarot, Leo represents the heart, right? Because the lion is the iconography of Leo. So yeah, you're. it's almost like you want to come from your heart center when you're speaking, but I feel like you could be a little more so in your head, a little bit more logical. And it's like, uh, I feel like you're going inward to um, get those heart-based... Um, emotions back out so you can emote them, right? So you can, you know, speak from the heart, speak your truth unrelentingly and not being maybe a little too cold in your approach. And I think it's interesting because we do have the King of Cups in reverse right underneath the King of Swords, which I'm getting like, definitely you're not coming from an emotional place right now, pile number twos at all. Like you seek to, you're working through that, right? but you're not coming from an emotional place. You're all mental. You're all analytical. Okay. As of right now. So with the page of cups being here in the ace of cups, you have, I feel like money's on your mind for some reason, money's on your mind, but not in this, not in the sense of you having to work hard and, you know, just pull yourself up by a bootstrap. No, I have a feeling this is a very lighthearted hearted way of seeing money right now. Maybe you feel like a little immature about what's being offered to you. However, on the flip side, there could be an offer from a young water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe maybe they think you're cute or interesting or something like that. You could be getting an offer from a young water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For a lot of you, I'm getting something monetarily or some uh, some type of offer, some type of opportunity being brought to you on the external and you really, um, it's almost like you seeing it before it happens here with the Page of Cups because the Page of Cups does also represent someone who is extremely intuitive at this very, at this point in time, right? So maybe in the recent past, you've tried to use your intuition to maybe gain or garner certain opportunities, okay, on the external. With the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, yeah, so that's so interesting. We have, okay, so I'm just now noticing we have the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords. That's very interesting. Um, so we have two portions of divine counterparts 
and they're opposite. I feel like you could be feeling a little confused mentally and emotionally right now too. Like you're the feminine aspects of your emotions are here, but the masculine aspects of your emotions aren't. And the masculine aspects of your logic are here and the feminine aspects are a little out of whack. We'll get back to that, pile number two. This is an interesting read. This is very interesting, okay? But we'll get back to that. So pertaining to the three of pentacles with the queen of cups, I have a feeling you're very... You are deliberating emotionally about whether or not you should partner up with someone reconcile with someone. I feel like you've been thinking about this for a very long time. Pile number twos. Okay. It's just, I always see the stern look on the Queen of Cups face as it pertains to this contraption here, the Holy Grail. And I really feel like you've been deliberating and wondering on whether or not you should work something out, reconcile with someone. And if that's not the case or whether or not you should let people in to come in and work with you because you don't know how that's going to make you feel emotionally once these people get in. So let's say you say, okay, let's do a partnership. Let's do a collaboration. Maybe you, you set this earlier, but then you're like now, okay, well, should I, how is this going to make my emotions fluctuate? Is this going to allow me to really be uh, even kilter like I need to be in order to continue to progress with this project, this work, something, this relationship? We have a five of pentacles and a three of swords. So I have a feeling like, I don't know if you are dealing with a breakup or you're going to maybe opt out of this reconciliation or this partnership. And this might lead someone to feeling just really kind of like downtrodden or like rejected or sad towards the end of the year. But I have a feeling you're really kind of focused on your inner self right now. You're really focused on your inner self, your inner resilience, your mental bandwidth as well. I always get with the, the king and queens of swords bandwidth, right? Your mental capacity, how far you can stretch your imagination, how far you can stretch your logic. You're really trying to be centered right now, pile number twos. You are. You're trying to be focused and logical and, and things of that nature. So I feel like maybe you're feeling like, you know, going at it alone is uh, the best route for you right now. But you still offer people words of good intent because you want them to succeed as well. You, you just want to be very strategic on how you approach things from here on out. But let's get some more cards. Tell me more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. What's happening for them for the rest of 2022? Okay, look. Look at this. Look at this. It's something with your duality. It's something with the duality in your nature, pile number twos, that you are maybe about to confront or... Yeah, you're about to confront for the rest of 2022. And I say that because look at what we have here. We have card number one, awareness. This does represent the magician. And then we have card number two with intuition. This represents the high priestess. And these are the masculine and the feminine forces that dwell within us as it pertains to us manifesting things, as it pertains to us coming to distinct and conclusive decisions you know what i'm saying like and you i feel like you're battling your masculine and your feminine energy right now what's at the bottom of this deck we have look we have the card number three with recognition and reward which does stand for the three of pentacles you also could really take the time out to integrate masculine and feminine at this point because maybe you are being re recognized and rewarded at this time for doing just th that right and it, we have one and two and then we we have the number three here we have the number three here so once you integrate both that masculine and that feminine principle those ide ideologies once it's working like that well-oiled machine that we spoke about then you're going to be recognized 
uh, for your hard work and your dedication into certain things, okay? Let's see. Let's at least get one or two more cards. What else, Spirit? What else is happening for our pile number ones for the rest of 2022? Look at this. Yeah, card number nine. We have fulfillment of wishes. So you're going to end up getting what you want. I feel like you're just maybe taking uh, the time out right now, maybe not even to deal with the public or people so you can get yourself into alignment with your masculine and your feminine because you know that's going to lead to your overarching benefit. It's going to lead to your overarching, uh, mani your manifestations being um, fulfilled, right? with this wish fulfillment card nine of cups yeah you're you're about to integrate the masculine and the feminine now because maybe they have been a little bit out of alignment okay and i feel like you're about to spend the rest of the year doing that i do want to clarify this five of pentacles and this three of swords and i'm, I'm gonna do that in a minute so we have at the bottom of the deck, card number 10, destiny. You're following your heart. You're going towards back towards your heart center is what I'm getting. Yeah, there's a lot of like emphasis on heart, on emotions here. And maybe the fact that you might have been suppressing emotions uh, and not even realizing it, pile number twos. Let's see. Let's pull on the on this five of pentacles and this three of swords tell me more god what does this uh clarify this five of pentacles here for our pile number twos we have the ten of cups very interesting clarify this five of pentacles here for pile number two why is five of pentacles here for pile number two look we have the ten of swords in reverse we have 10, 10. You could be seeing the number 10, 10 a lot lately, okay? Clarify this five of pentacles. Look, Jesus. Oh my goodness, sorry, but forgive me. We have 10 again. Okay, so you're, you're ending something. Something is wrapping up. We have the 10 of wands. And then we have the four of pentacles, it was in my hand in reverse. So you could be letting go of something. Yeah, letting go of maybe an old relationship. Yep, we got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. You could be letting go of old relationships, just people who you don't resonate with anymore. And it, you know, it could lead to some sadness, but overall it's gonna lead to your happiness. I feel like this cycle just eventually it had to end, you know? This could be a per person, place, thing, circumstances. This could be business related this could be emotionally too yeah but something is complete well these three tens come on something is complete it's done you've took it you've taken it as far as it could go okay so let's pull some more cards. Pile number twos. Tell us more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What's happening for pile number twos for the remainder of 2022? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. Thank you. One more card. Thank you. Look, destiny keeps coming out. We have astrology with destiny. I feel like you're just... You are really solidifying and following your destiny wherever that takes you i feel like you're really on this fool's journey you're really on like the hero or the heroine journey we have palmistry interpretation this card hasn't come out for a while pile number two so i'm gonna read this card for me for you and we have feathers messages yeah i feel like you're adhering to the messages that are being sent to you and that's why you're just continuously on your destiny on your path a lot of tens. There's a lot of completion right now. Pile number um, twos. There's a lot of completions. All systems are being completely wiped out. Let's see. Let's see palmistry interpretation. Let's see. 
I do want to read this card for y'all. So it says, too often you draw conclusions that leave you feeling upset or frustrated, but your reactions are due entirely to your own interpretation of what others say and the situation you find yourself in. Adopt a new way of thinking that will help you embrace life and live it to the full. That's why you are here after all. Spruce yourself up in appearance, if you will, but definitely in mind. Ooh, what do we say with that queen and king of swords? That's interesting. Embark on a task or journey with a new and positive attitude. Grabbing opportunities with gusto and purpose will turn your life around and you will find you achieve more than you ever have. Soon you'll notice that others' attitudes towards you will become more affirming as yours will to them and to anything else that comes your way. It says, incantation, I resented what I saw. Life was dull. I wanted more. I, re I read the wrong way into things. Now I read them right and my heart sings. That's so funny because we kept mentioning the heart. So it says, other divinatory meanings, what you deem as bad is another man's good. Nothing is all black or all white. Look, and that's so interesting because we had the masculine and the feminine, black, white, yin, yang. So I think that's interesting. It says, look at a situation through different eyes. Visit an accredited palm reader. Consider where life has taken you and make changes if need be. Yeah, so a lot of recalibration here. Um, we do have at the bottom of this deck handwriting authenticity. So again, what I'm getting is like you're reclaiming your authenticity. You could be scripting out uh, how you want the remainder of 2020 to look to look for you right now. But what I'm really what I'm really getting, pal number twos, is that you are recalibrating. You're in this recalibration period in your life right now. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. What else is coming in for our pile number twos, Spirit, for the remainder of 2022? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos for the remainder of 2022. Look, share your gifts, okay? I have a feeling, yeah, in this state of solitude, if you're going to take some time out, uh, you're going to be working on things that you want others to see. That could be the world. That could just be, you know, certain things that um, make you happy. You're going to be sharing them with others. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. One more card. What else is happening? Okay. Look at this. Look, good things coming. I love to hear pile number twos. Good things are coming your way. Yeah, you're restructuring. And I feel like you really are integrating that masculine, that feminine principle within you. You're coming into center, back into alignment. Something you're manifesting. That's what I was talking about with scripting. It's coming in for you. Good things are here, okay? Because you've been offering words of good intent for a while, not just for yourself, but for others. And you're being rewarded back, okay? Okay. We have break the rules at the bottom of the deck. You're breaking curses. You're breaking generational, you know, occurrences that just almost like kept happening. Almost like this, this cycle, this cyclic approach to something. You're, you're, you're doing something different, okay? And it's working for you, not against you. Yeah. So let's pull some more cards. Let's pull on sharing your gifts again. Um, so how can pile number twos best share their gifts for the remainder of 2022 spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. We're going to be using this Oracle deck, Life's, Life Purpose by Doreen Virtue. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number two spirit. How can pile number two share their gifts for the remaining um, for the remainder of 2022? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. Clear, concise. Thank you. Look at this infinite abundance. It says you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. 
So don't be afraid to share your gift because you're going to share your gifts or your gift because you're going to be supplied by God, spirit, source, energy. Uh, God, spirit, source, energy is your unwavering supply and God, spirit, source, energy, your higher self, angels, ancestors, and, and guides wants you to share your gifts with the world because that's why they were given to you. Okay. Uh, tell us more, spirit. For our pile number twos. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Look, we have trust. Okay, beautiful. It says, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Okay, so what is your heart? What is your spirit? What is your uh, soul telling you to do? This one's kind of poking out, so I'm going to take this one. And we have books. Love it. Okay, so it says your, uh, you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. I kind of want to read more about this. What's at the bottom of the deck? Bottom of the deck, it says family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life's purpose. You could be writing like a book about like parenting or family matters or, you know, childhood, so to speak. Maybe you're finding yourself gravitating towards that energy or towards writing. Okay. But give me one second. I do want to read this books card for you. Okay. <clears throat> so it says, uh, books, you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. It says your love of books drew this card to you. You're able to find something interesting between the covers of most works and your lit your literature interests are wide and varied. So it's not surprising that your life purpose is centered around the written word. For example, you do well working at a bookstore. <clears throat> It says library, publishing house, or magazine, or in the media. You may also be drawn to write a book, which the angels will help you with. Exactly. Infinite abundance. Okay. So if you're drawn to writing a book, you're going to be provided for while you're writing that book. You're not going to have to worry about how you're going to make ends meet while you're fulfilling uh, one of your life's purpose. Okay. So it says you can find answers and directions for your current career path by intuitively selecting books that call to you, even if the topics seem initially unrelated to your past career. Trust that there's valuable information within the pages. You're being led along the path of your divine life purpose one page at a time. And it's like trust. Trust what your intuition is telling you. Trust with your trust what your gut is telling you, because if you do it and you um, adhere to what God's spirit source energy is telling you, you're you're not going to be led astray. You're going to be led uh, to your calling and you're going to be uh, abundantly supplied for a pile number twos. And I have a feeling you're you're doing that for the rest of 2022. That's why you've been maybe having this feeling of recalibration and maybe, um, you know, kind of going back inwards uh, to find your words to find the right words to say. Also, I think this is fascinating because it says I offer words of good intent. Uh, your book subject could be something along the lines of self-help, self-development, encouraging other people from your experience, okay? And uh, the heartfelt message that you have to share with others, all right? I think that's really cool. So let's see, what other cards are we going to pull for my dear pile number threes? I mean, pile number twos today. Let's end off your reading by pulling some um, soul journey cards. Is this... Did I pull these? I think I did. Yeah, so let's pull some soul journey cards. Did I pull these for the last pile? I don't remember, but we're going to pull them right now. <laughs> Tell us more. It's very clear. Divine guidance, wisdom, and insight for our pile number twos. What message would you like to leave for our pile number two spirits? Uh, advice, guidance, and wisdom to leave off pile number two's reading. Thank you. Thank you. One more card, Spirit. Thank you. So we have at the bottom of the deck, patience. It says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. Yeah. You're just, you know, that's why I feel like you're going in solitude because you know, like you have to uh, increase your patience and have patience with yourself, especially if you are writing a book right now. It takes time. The creative process isn't linear, right? It's kind of like this. It's kind of like the Fibonacci sequence. Very, it's spiral. It's, it's an upward spiral, right? 
So we have success, okay? So success is assured for you, pile number twos. It says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And I have a feeling that means loving what you do and doing what you love, okay? It says, fear, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yeah, you're you're transmuting that fear into faith and you are, um, you know, facilitating yourself how you need to so you can have the bandwidth and the mental capacity to you know even write this book as you need to and look at this we have gratitude it says i'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents i have a feeling that attitude is gratitude or the gratitude is attitude and the more gratitude you produce from yourself and you give to god spirit source energy the more god spirit source energy is going to keep working magnificently in your life and giving you the things that you are grateful for giving you more of those things right so yeah, that's about all the time that I have for my lovely dreamy dreamers of pile number twos. I love you so much, pile number twos. If you like this message, if it resonated with you, please give this reading a big thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone else who would best benefit from the message from the messages provided here today. Again, I love you so much, pile number twos, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this lovely I spread joy card. So look, pile number threes, for the remainder of 2022, I have a feeling you all are being led by your heart space right now. You all are experiencing a lot or will be experiencing a lot of ascension symptoms. You all were the only one out of the bunch of four to get two cards as well. So we have I spread joy and we have I speak positively of others. And I have a feeling because you do this, right? Like genuinely do this, you are ascending to higher and higher heights. You are feeling more liberated and free. And because you lead with your heart, I feel like you would never say anything poisonous or bad about other people because you know that that is a reflection of yourself. And if basically, if you're saying something bad or, uh, you know, kind of like uh, just not in good character about others, you're really speaking that into existence for yourself. OK, but I have a feeling you're leading with your heart uh for the remainder of 2022 because you're being called to because god's spirit source energy is uh urging you to um yeah so yeah i digress let's hop into it um you might be attracted to another pile as well pile number threes but you know we'll get into that so let's hop into your reading we have at the bottom of the deck the four of wands okay you could be thinking about um, a collaboration with someone, a merger, marriage. You could be seeing 1111 a lot lately or divine synchronistic moments have been, you know, kind of like happening to you a lot, pile number threes. I also feel like uh, there is a lot to celebrate that's coming up for you uh, for the remainder of 2022 because of this ascension that you've had because of the positivity and the good well wishes you've spoken on others it's almost been like reverberated back to you and you're going to be feeling a lot of freedom a lot of liberation and a lot of uh just celebratory energy uh now and um concluding the rest of the year okay could be a uh, financial freedom coming in as well pile number threes. But I digress. Let's list off your cards. We have the hangman in reverse, five of pentacles in reverse, knight of cups, the tower, justice in reverse, the lovers, king of pentacles, four of cups, ten of swords, and the eight of pentacles. Going into the center of your reading or starting in the center of your reading with the knight of cups and the four of cups, I have a feeling maybe you have turned down some love offers. Okay. Maybe you just didn't take this serious. Um, I have a feeling there could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming to you. Uh, heavy emphasis on Cancer too, because the Four of Cups does represent the sign, can the Cancerian sign of the Zodiac. So maybe a Cancerian person has been on your mind lately, or maybe you have just liberated yourself from a past connection with a Cancer person. Um, maybe they were energetically offering you something, maybe trying to pull your energetic cord back towards them, and because 
because you working on yourself because I feel like if this is in connection to a Cancerian person, maybe you sent them a lot of good well wishes, like just wanting to be released of this person and you did that. Okay. That's just one storyline coming in. Uh, for our pile number threes, but again with the Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups, I have a feeling you're you're a stickler right now, pile number threes. You are very um, cautious about the energies you let in, even if they look very polished and refined on the outside. Uh, you're really in this meditative state, maybe in a little bit of an apathetic state as it pertains to love or as it pertains to love offers right now as well, okay? I have a feeling, <sighs> yeah. Let's let's clarify this Knight of Cups. I wonder if I should cl clarify the Knight of Cups or the Four of Cups first. Let's do the Knight. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck. Please clarify this Knight of Cups for our pile number threes. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Thank you. Two more cards. Why is this Knight of Cups here for our pile number threes? Thank you. Okay, a lot of cards came out. <laughs> Hangman at the bottom of the deck. That's so funny. This might be you, pile number three. I don't know if you're Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Heavy emphasis on Pisces and um, Cancer. Let's see the cards that fell out. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. Like I was talking about reconciliation. We have the knight of wands. Might have been dealing with the player, the death card. Yeah, something's over. Um, we have the two of wands in reverse, knight of swords, and the eight of pentacles. I have a feeling someone wanted to work something out with you and they have been like, maybe they have been ha having you heavily on their mind or vice versa. This could be an ex. This could be someone from the past, especially with that death card here. They could just be wanting to canoodle with you, so to speak, or maybe just like, you know, just be in and out. You know what I'm saying? Here for a good time, not a long time. But you already know that's out of the equation. That is out because uh, that would kind of uh, remove you from the path from the path that you see from your that you see for yourself right now right that's what i'm getting yeah that's what i'm getting you're chilling right now you're not no and even if this isn't a particular x but you're done with the the bs pile number threes you're done with the bs like i was feeling you're done with just these little romantical offers here here today gone tomorrow you're focused on the big the big kahuna <laughs> okay the big fish right now not the knights but the kings okay so let's move forward <clears throat> we have the hangman in reverse and the lovers so i have a feeling because you have what is it called because you have not given in okay because that you because you have um really set out for what you want, you're actually getting it. You know, you're on the other side of that said sacrifice, so to speak. And I feel like there could be a love connection coming in for your soulmate connection, something that's going to last for a very long time. All right. Uh, here with the five of pentacles in reverse and the king of pentacles, this person is not down and out. This person is going to be extremely stable. Okay. And uh, have a lot to offer you just as much as you have to offer them. With the Tower and the Ten of Swords, I have a feeling whatever else was in the past, you're leaving it behind. It's done. You're now building on solid ground, solid foundation, and what goes down must come up. And I feel like you are experiencing um, just leaving everything in the past behind that no longer serves you. That's just what I'm getting. Like Maybe you've had an epiphany, an aha moment, but you are sticking to your what you've set out for yourself. With the Justice card in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles, I have a feeling you are very, um, you are methodically working on yourself right now to bring yourself back into this centered place, okay? Back into equilibrium, back into what you know you deserve, okay? You want to see justice had for yourself and you're working on that as we speak, okay? You are giving yourself justice right now through service, through work, whether that be uh, work on the self or work on the external. 
Tell us more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number th threes. Okay. So we have card number eight, trapped in fear. We have conflict and defeat in reverse. Card number five. What is this card? And then we have card number four, discontent and boredom. Interesting. We have two four of cups card. So you, yeah, this could be about a cancer, okay? You can have cancer placements in your chart and they're heavily emphasized right now. Also, pile number three is there is a new moon in cancer on June 28th. This could be why you're feeling the way you feel. And uh, something could be like ending for the last time uh, in the approach of this new moon in cancer. But what I'm getting is that you may feel a little, maybe I, I'm not getting this is your energy. I'm getting someone is feeling a little worried or an anxious about like you moving forward with your life and you moving forward with someone else as well. One more card spirit. Tell us more about this energy. For our pile number threes, one more card. For our pile number three spirit. What's happening for them for the remainder of 2022? You're ascending. You're getting to higher, higher heights. Pile number threes. One more card for pile number threes. Yeah, transforming. Transformation. Card number 13. Yeah, you're breaking out of your shell. I have a feeling whatever that's no longer serving you, you're done with the games. You're leaving it in the past. You're square, they're square. You're not looking for revenge, none of that. This could be with a Scorpio too, but I, I'm getting, I'm getting cancer. You could be the cancer as well. A lot of water energy, a lot of water signs coming up. What's at the bottom of this deck? Card number two. Yeah, you you know who this is, intuitively speaking. You already know who it is. So I digress. Let's pull some more cards. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving pile number three clear, concise, accurate messages. What else is coming? What else is happening for our pile number threes for the remainder of 2022? Clear, concise, accurate messages. I feel like even in the dark you shine. I don't know why I'm getting that. I think because of this, even in the darkest times you shine and you you rise. Tell us more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What else is happening for our pile number threes for the remainder of 2022? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. That's a the whole half of the deck <laughs> one more card spirit thank you okay so we have numerology precision you're right on the money you're right on the ball i have a feeling you're gonna be uh, i feel like maybe even using your resources a little bit better a little bit more meticulously too we have for knowledge certainty so we have precision and certainty and we have arrow focus your eyes are on the prize. You're certain. It's almost like you're in the fifth dimension, pile number threes, or you're, <laughs> you're heading towards the fifth dimension, which is freedom, which is complete and utter liberation. We have precision, certainty, and focus. That means you have your eyes glued on the prize. Nothing can stop you. And God's spirit source energy is here to help you along the way. They are really applauding you right now. Touchy. I don't even know what to say. Bottom of the deck, clouds, mystical. And yes, this is happening. This isn't in your head. You're not making this up. This is all happening for you. For you. Your guys are telling you exactly what to do and you're doing it. Okay? You're right on target. That's why you're not allowing any type of like minor relationships to come in and to like discombobulate you right now is what I'm getting, especially for the remainder of 2022. You're focused, <laughs> okay? I can't emphasize that enough. So what else was I going to... Okay, so yeah, let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. Tell us more. What else is happening for our pile number threes for the remainder of 2022? 
Clear, concise, accurate messages for the remainder of 2022. Messages for our pile number three. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. One more card, Spirit. This came out twice. Third eye chakra. Yeah, your intuition is speaking to you loud and clear. Pile number threes. And you are acquiescing to your intuition. Your intuition it never lies, okay? I just need to show you this. Card number two, intuition. You see how this you see how this person has their eyes closed? Because they're the only eye that, well, I'm not gonna say that, but their inner eye. That uh, eye in between that eye, that third eye is focused right now. Uh, pile number threes, complete and utterly. Get it together. Yeah, you're dotting all your I's, crossing all your T's. You're getting your paperwork and uh, um, together. You're you're getting everything sorted out for the remainder of 2022. And this. You're going to feel so free and liberated once you get everything together. And I feel like your subconscious mind, your third eye, your intuition has been telling you this for a while. Now you're finally adhering to it. It says, let that itch go. Yeah, you're letting a lot of stuff go right now. Like I said, you're letting the things that no longer serve you go in the wind, okay? <laughs> yeah. You see how they're flying that airplane, that airplane, that paper airplane? They're about to throw it out. Okay. If it comes back, if it comes back to you, you'll know that it's yours, pile number threes. And if not, keep it pushing. But you're you're dotting all your I's, you're crossing all your T's, you're getting everything that you need to that you need to have in order in order before the end of the year. Tell us more, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Okay, so for pile number threes, their gifts, their life purpose. What messages need to come out of? What messages need to come out for our pile number threes as it pertains to uh, what is it that they need to get together, spirit? What is it that their intuition is telling them to get into alignment, to get into order, spirit? I'm pulling the Life Purpose Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What is it that pile number threes intuition is telling them to get together? get it together okay so we have two cards that came out it says energy healing it says your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life's purpose and you see it has the chakras right here and we have the third eye chakra so i have a feeling you're getting all of your chakras aligned you're getting your energy in alignment okay we have justice twice that's interesting it says your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help this is what you're working on you're making sure that you're in alignment for yourself and you're get you're getting the justice that you need so you can help others get the justice that you that they need energetically speaking okay one more card spirit for our pile number threes one more card for our pile number threes clear concise accurate messages okay that one more card, spirit for pile number three is travel. It says your life purpose involves traveling. You can see yourself traveling a lot, maybe for speaking engagements, maybe just uh, for work in and of itself. Look at when I said speaking engagement, this was at the bottom of the deck. I just, I'm just now <laughs> realizing it. Your life's purpose involves your skills of oration, of or oration. So like an orator, like you really having a really good balance as it pertains to the words that you speak. I speak positively of others. I spread joy. Exactly. I have a feeling like there could be companies or corporations calling you or like whatever you're putting into alignment, you're going to do it so well, pile number three, is that people are going to call you to come to different parts of the country, either the country that you live in or abroad to come speak and share your story with others. Okay. That's beautiful. So let's conclude your reading. And I feel like you're getting into alignment for that exact purpose, right? 
Tell us more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages to end pile number three's reading. What else? What guidance, advice, or wisdom do you want to leave with our pile number threes for today's reading, Spirit? For the rest of 2022, I will help them sort out the rest of 2022. Advice, guidance, wisdom that will help pile number threes sort out the rest of their 2022. Look, balance. You're getting back into balance. Even card number 11, I mean, card number, uh, excuse me, the four of wands, 1111, signifies balance. You're restoring your balance, okay? And that balance that you're restoring, you getting into alignment, it's going to facilitate uh, speaking engagements uh, around the world, yeah, or around your country or wherever, like, God, Spirit, Source Energy is leading you to go to share these words of encouragement, these words of wisdom to others, okay? So it says, balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. I have a feeling however you convey your message is going to have fe people feeling seen and not judged, okay? Tell us more, Spirit. More advice, guidance, wisdom for pile number threes. We have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And you are. You're resolving your fear. You're resolving your fear and you are moving through your fear. I have a feeling, you know, that you know what they say that public speaking is people fear public speaking over death. You know what I'm saying? So if you're doing this, yeah, you are facing your fears and you are overcoming them. One more card, Spirit, for our pile number three to end off the reading. Advice, guidance, and wisdom. I'm just going to take this. We have denial. It says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with in the insight of awareness. You're not denying your feelings here. You're allowing them to be transmuted. So you're turning your fear into fuel, pile number threes. And uh, within doing so, you could have your first speaking engagement by the end of this year, or you could be preparing for your first speaking engagement for the rest of the year. And maybe you'll be uh, doing some type of uh, orientation or something like that, uh, in the beginning of next year okay so yeah that's about all the time that i have for my lovely dreamy dreamers i love you so much my pile number threes congratulations in advance on this beautiful new beginning that you have or even this career that you've maybe been wanting for a, a very long time um if you like this message if it resonated with you please give this reading a big thumbs up like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in your next readings. Bye. Hey, pile number fours. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this I Invoke Laughter card. This will... <laughs> excuse me you all chose this I invoke laughter card this is one of my favorite cards in this deck just because I like how she's entertaining these vultures okay it's almost like she's distracting them or they're distracting them um while they kind of like have their spotlight their moment or something like that I have a feeling like laughter is the best medicine and like you could be like a little you know light-hearted jokester uh as it pertains to the end of the year and the and the rest of 2022 you could just be laughing off stuff shaking off the haters shaking off you know these people who just want everything to go their way they want everything they're you know kind of bottom feeders so to speak and you're just like living in your own truth and you're being silly and fun and you're having a good time in life and you don't care who's looking or you know what others expect from you right now I feel like you're you're really kind of just like doing your own thing and having fun with life no matter what is around you no matter what circumstances are around you you're being yourself okay and I'm feeling like you're placing more emphasis on the lighter side of life right now because, you know, while you can't control everything on the external, you can control how you respond to them, right? So I digress. Let's move into your reading. We have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? You could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I have a lot of water highly, aspect in, highly aspected in your chart. But what I'm 
seeing is you're really getting in touch with your emotions right now. Um, this could be, like I said, laughter is the best medicine, right? Uh, maybe you've been feeling a little too stern, a little bit too worried about your emotional state or your emotional satisfaction. So you've been turning to laughter to remedy something or even to manifest certain things. Like, you know, maybe you're just in a joking mood as of lately, but it's been helping you to um, realize that life doesn't have to be so serious. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Life doesn't have to be so serious. You don't have to take life so seriously. You can laugh at yourself. Okay. Even in times of duress and stress. Okay. Um, you know, yeah, I'm also getting laugh to keep from crying. Okay. But anyways, I digress. Let's move on to your reading pile number four is we have the magician temperance the devil three major arcanas in a row we have five six major arcanas in your spread but three major arcanas in a row so just wanted to point that out we have the eight of cups six of pentacles judgment the empress in reverse ten of swords the emperor in reverse and the eight of swords okay so let's start with the center of your reading, with the devil and the ten of swords. I have a feeling you are leaving uh, toxic traits and behaviors behind. And I feel like you're laughing your way out of certain situations and certain feeling states, okay? You're leaving behind something that you felt con contained by or bound to, okay? Um, you're leaving behind a lot of like maybe obsession or a lot of like thinking about Living from the world is also what I'm getting. Oh, you're also leaving behind self-deceit, right? Because the devil, would, especially in tarot, the devil will have you feeling like you're trapped, but you're really not. These people in this devil card, they could just literally pull these chains from over their heads and leave. But it's the illusion that the devil creates in the tarot that makes it seem like there's no way out. You are finding a way out, okay? You you understand what I'm saying? You're finding a way out through laughter. Um, yeah, and, and I feel like you're no longer going back to who you used to be. That old person um, that would just persist in the illusion of the mortal mind is gone. And now you're trying to project love and laughter and joy to others. And you're manifesting something in the process of doing just that pile number fours, especially with the magician and the temperance right next to each other. Okay. But again, moving back to the beginning of the reading with the magician and the judgment card, I have a feeling something that you manifested is coming back around. Maybe you missed it the first time because of something, but you're bringing something back around through the actions that you're taking, okay? And it's going to be really good. It's it's going to be like a revival. I don't know if this is you reviving your energy, reviving your manifestation power and ability, but you're doing it here with the magician and the judgment. And it's you're going to be doing this for a good amount of time, especially with these two major arcanas, um, one on top of the other. Uh, with the temperance... With temperance and the empress in reverse, I have a feeling you're getting back to yourself. You're putting yourself first, okay? Even if you haven't for a while now, you're getting back to putting yourself first. You're getting back to pampering yourself, to taking really good care of yourself, uh, to doing all things in moderation. Uh, you could be doing yoga or just because I, I, I say yoga because we have the triangle. And for me, the triangle does signify a realm of balance, right? Body, mind and spirit. You're getting your body, mind and spirit in congruence. OK, and that means taking care of yourself, putting yourself on that pedestal, beautifying yourself, doing whatever you have to do in order to feel good and tempered. OK, with the eight of pen, with the eight of cups, excuse me, and the emperor, Eight of Cups upright, Emperor in reverse. We do have divine counterparts here, the Emperor and the Empress, the Queen of all Queens and the King of all Kings here, okay? So maybe there was a, a, a separation of masculine and feminine, and this could be within a relationship. This could be within self, but I feel like you're, you're putting this back together again, okay? You could have left uh, an Emperor behind, an Aries behind, but what I'm getting is that you left your masculine behind. You did. 
you left your masculine behind because you left your your empress energy behind your feminine behind and but now you're stabilizing that feminine energy and i feel like maybe you're walking away from taking massive action right now from being too much of a uh, control freak or a, you a, to, well, how do you pronounce that totalitarian or something like that just may just maybe you've been dictating something for too long now and you just have to let things flow and i feel like yeah you're letting go of control you're walking towards something that you don't have to feel the need to control all the time or you have to have such a fixed state of mind i i get fixed energy with the emperor right someone who's kind of hard headed who doesn't budge from you know, they're thrown. And I feel like you you want more liberty. You want more fluidity, okay? Hence this Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So with the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords in reverse, yeah, you're balanced now. Oh, gosh, there was a... Anyways, that was the a previous reading. But yeah, you're balanced now. You're restoring your balance, your equilibrium. You're giving to yourself as much as you're taking away from yourself. And you're ex. ex bounding or uh exerting from yourself but then you're replenishing yourself uh right along side of of uh excuse me of like uh you're transmuting your energy in a very balanced approach you're also giving less to others and giving more to yourself and not feeling bad about it <laughs> pile number four is to say the least you're giving less to others and more to yourself without feeling bad about it because I feel like your needs have to be met first and foremost, okay? And you're starting to realize that. So for the rest of 2022, that's what you're doing. You're up overcoming a lot of temptations that you've allowed yourself to just kind of be in, you know. And uh, you're reestablishing uh, the masculine and feminine principle within you, okay? You might be doing less of the feminine and putting more of, I mean, less of the masculine and putting more of the feminine um, into play as well. Tell us more, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages. What else is happening for pile number fours for the remainder of 2022? What else is happening for our pile number fours for the remainder of 2022? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Thank you. So we have card number seven with patience and planning. Yeah, you're going to be very patient with yourself because you're planning out not just the remainder of your 2022, but I feel like you're about to, you're wanting to plan out a couple years in advance. And I'm getting that you're going to give yourself that time and that energy to do that. We have card number two, movement, choices, and decisions. Yeah, you want to take a balanced approach. You want to work hard and play hard. You want to be balanced in your decision makings right now because you know how important it is, you know, and I, you're going to do it. And that's why I feel like you, you want to plan a couple years in advance so you can feel more balanced about, you know, making the right decision for yourself and others. Tell us more, Spirit. What else is happening for our pile number fours for the remainder of 2022? So we have card number seven, crown chakra. And then we have card number five, emotional loss. Okay. So I feel like you are gaining a lot of wisdom, a lot of insight, a lot of... Um, you're almost going through this awakening moment again, another aha, aha moment, an epiphany as it pertains to maybe something that you felt like you've lost in the past pile number fours. Okay. Again, with this Fib Fibonacci sequence, life goes in cycles. I have a feeling you realize that you're, you're recovering from something maybe that, you know, kind of relieved itself out of your life. I feel like you're also saying one day I'll laugh about this. We have at the bottom of the deck, the three of swords, heartache and loss. So we have heartache and loss and then emotional loss. Um, you could be leaving behind maybe like, like I said, an Aries, a masculine uh, figure in your life. Um, but I have a feeling something's waiting on you on the other side, like with that crown chakra and the emotional loss coming in, like you're going to be 
getting something a lot better in return, right? Your loss isn't in vain. God's spirit source energy is going to put something in the place of that empty feeling. If, if you're feeling like that pile, number four is okay. Tell us more, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages. And if you're feeling lonely right now, left out, you know what I'm saying? Um, things are going to get better soon. Okay, let's put this back. Clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit. What else is happening for our pile number fours for the remainder of 2022? So look, that came out twice. My goodness. God said, I said what I said. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Let me. Yeah, so we have arrow focus. You're focused on something. You're focused on healing, okay? Oracle wisdom. You're using what you've learned, okay? So I said this in another reading. A uh, shout out to uh, a friend of mine who referred me to this book. It's called what got you here isn't going to get you there. That's what I'm getting. Like your wisdom, your intuition is blaring and your wisdom from what you've been through from the past is telling you, you can't get to where you're going probably without leaving certain things behind that you're just done and over with, but also, um, without like reestablishing a new focus. Okay. Or clearing out certain energies. And you're following that wisdom that's being bestowed upon you from God's spirit source energy, your angels, ancestors, and guides, your higher self. You're really listening and following that wisdom to a T, okay? Pile number fours. Tell us more, spirit. One more card. Thank you. We have a lot's chance. I feel like, yeah, you're just taking a chance. You're reclaiming your power and you're taking a chance on where it is that you see yourself going next. Look at that. You're definitely taking a chance. We have dice gamble at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're, you're betting on yourself. You're betting on yourself, pile number fours. For the remainder of 2022, you're about to do everything in your power to attain the things and the goals and the vision that you have set forth for yourself for a very long time. Okay? You're like, what's the worst that could happen? And you're doing so very joyously. You're leaving behind a lot of toxic thoughts, traits. You're just like, they don't serve me. <laughs> they don't serve me. They're not fun anymore. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more. What else is happening for our pile number four for the remainder of 2022? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours. During the remainder of 2022. Okay, so we have forgiveness. Oh, this is cute. You could be forgiving someone, forgiving yourself, okay? Uh, I have a feeling you have forgave people, but I feel like, you, you know, maybe haphazardly. Maybe you just really want to... Place an emphasis on forgiveness. Maybe someone's going to come in and forgive you, okay? Tell us more, God. What else is happening for our pile number fours during the remainder of 2022? Clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit. Ooh, we have no. I, I have a feeling someone's going to come in and ask for forgiveness. You're going to be like, no, nah, I'm all right. And we have inner child. That's very interesting. That's very interesting, pile number fours. Yeah. And I have a feeling this, you saying no, and it's okay. Let me, let me rephrase that. Someone's going to come in and asking for forgiveness, but you've already forgiven them. But it's not like you're going to include them back into your lives like you used to. I have a feeling you are dealing with inner child things right now that you are rectifying. And I have a feeling maybe when you were younger, 
or your inner child maybe didn't know your own worth and your own value and you would just always forgive and let people back into your life who who's wronged you and um now you're placing distinct boundaries on people you're like yeah sure of course i forgive you you know I forgive you because I have to in order to move forward, in order to move on. But you're no longer going to control my life and my thoughts by means of allowing you back in to run amok again. And I feel like you're, this is your inner child healing. This is healing for you to be able to place certain boundaries where you need to. We have at the bottom of the deck, find your blessing. This is your blessing in, in disguise, pile number fours you being able to put place people to put people in their place firm boundaries is what i'm getting you know someone could be reaching out really wanting to yeah apologize to you and you're like mm, thanks you know i really appreciate it but you know thank you you know all is square on this end but you're just like still we're not gonna be it's not gonna be how it used to be you know so let's pull some more cards. I'm going to pull from this Life Purpose Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue. Let's see uh, what you need to know. What's coming in for our pile number four in regards to their life's purpose for the rest of 2022? What does pile number four need to know about their life's purpose in regards to the remainder of 2022? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number four spirit. Thank you. Thank you. We have one more. Let's get one more card, spirit. Thank you. Look. Ooh, it keeps saying let go. It says let go. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. Yeah, you're walking away. You're putting your foot down, pile number fours. You're putting your foot down. You said enough is enough. I forgive you, but that doesn't have to mean, that doesn't mean I have to incorporate you back into my life, okay? First card that came out is yoga, all right? It says your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercise. You could find yourself um, increasing your heart rate, wanting to exercise more, uh, maybe even doing beginner stages of yoga. If you are advanced, you could just be really wanting to align your chakras right now, mind, body, and spirit, making sure you're in alignment with your purpose, right? We have love and light. It says your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. And this is probably going to be in con collaboration with yoga, you working out, you exercising. Um, yeah. And then we have heart's desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become reality. Like I said, you're super focused right now, pile number fours, and you are dead set on achieving your life's purpose and your heart's desires. And that's why you're so focused. You could be exercising more. You could be stretching more, uh, really getting in tune with your body so you can be a conduit of that love and light. So you can send really good energy uh, through people. You could also make people laugh and that really helps them and heals them. Okay. You could make people laugh through yoga. You know, you could just be very funny and People just love the mix of uh, the laughter with the working out, okay? But yeah, you're letting go of someone or something. You could be letting go of an animal that passed. Um, yeah. But you're letting go of something that really took its toll on you emotionally is what I'm getting. All right. So to conclude your reading, we're going to pull some... Soul Journeys cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. What is the last messages, last three messages you want to leave for our pile number fours? Wisdom, guidance, advice <clears throat> to end pile number fours reading. Wisdom, guidance, advice for the remainder of 2022. Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours. This card is uh, peeking out, so I'm going to pull it. 
We have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. You're no longer indecisive. I feel like um, you know what you want and you're going after what you want. You're, you're eliminating indecision. Tell us more, spirit. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude pile number three's reading. Forgiveness again. Forgiveness again. I'm going to have to read this one because this keeps coming out. It says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And we have doubt. You're, you're about to release doubt and decision and fear. I release the need to know all the answers. That This is... Sorry, excuse me. This is why this emperor is in reverse. You're leaving and releasing the need to know everything, to always have this heavy control over your whole life, okay? Uh, this is important. Here we go. I rarely use this book, but we're going to use it today. Let's see, forgiveness. 44... Okay, so it says forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. It says you can never flow with your natural energy of love unless you release the negative energy of hate, anger, intolerance, or blame. Every soul in your path has free will and you have no control over that. What you do have control over is how you react to the manifestations of others' free will. It says holding on to that negative energy will strengthen karmic cycles and forgiveness can break that pattern. The most important person you must learn to forgive is always yourself. Blaming yourself for failures, in quotes, blocks the natural flow of love, which will attract all good things into your life. So yeah, you're forgiving yourself. And when when you forgive yourself, pile number fours, you're automatically eliminating indecision, doubt, and fear out of your subconscious mind because now you feel like I can do everything. I can do anything and uh, with the help of God, spirit, source, energy. I kid you not, look what's at the bottom of this deck. I did not do anything. I wasn't looking at the cards, nothing. Who child. It says humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. With forgiveness, with you forgiving someone or yourself, uh, by the end of this year, pile number fours, your your whole heart is going to feel so much lighter. You're going to feel like you can do anything. That is trippy. Humor and I invoke laughter. Just too cool. Too cool for words. <laughs> I, I love it when things like that happen, but you know. <laughs> I digress. Um, so yes, pile number four, that concludes the end of your reading. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers. If you like this reading, if it resonated with you, thank you so much for being here and sharing this time with me. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button, uh, like, share, and subscribe if this reading resonated with you. Um, and yeah, I love you and I'll see you in our next readings. Bye.